right? Get the tea.com. When it's ice cold, it works beautiful in these stainless steel salvation station cups. Seriously, guys, I want to break in and just say, get the tea.com. I'll put the link below. Ronnie, a great guy, Christian company, and he makes the best tea for your health. Get rid of the toxins. Get rid of the stress. Oh, get rid of the mess in your life. Get the tea.com. All right, guys, but listen, you might be stressed out if you live in Iceland. You might actually need some ice get the tea because uh, reports by seismologists that the Iceland's enormous volcano called Bartabunga uh, is getting ready to explode. That's what they're saying, ready to erupt as four earthquakes have just struck there in just two hours. Matter of fact, Iceland's largest volcano, Bartabunga, could erupt at any moment, bringing a cloud of ash that could literally hinder worldwide tourism and cause air quality issues, according to reports by Yahoo UK. Now, some worry it would be reminiscence to the 2010 eruption, which disturbed travel at that time. And I remember covering it when that took place uh, on YouTube back in 2010. I was covering all of the earthquakes and volcanoes and uh, tsunamis and everything else. It's been BP oil spill. Remember that? Oh, yes. Well, the country's largest volcano, which stands 6,591 feet above sea level, has been hit with earthquakes this week. These vibrations could have huge implications. What? They're feeling all the bad vibrations. It's causing a lot of implications. Volcanoes are ready. No, no, no. But according to the volcanic experts, these vibrations are bringing huge implications. What? And they're very concerned about it. Guys, get serious with me, okay? Because in Iceland, the volcano is clearly uh, preparing for its next eruption. Matter of fact, that may happen in the next few years or the next few days. Uh, The earthquake won't cause an eruption that they've been having recently, but rather they hint that one could be coming. The earthquakes last week are just the symptoms of the process They do not cause the volcano to erupt. They are the symptoms that a volcano is about to erupt or is building pressure. Now, now Bartabunga last erupted in 2014. You may remember that when it erupted, it created a huge explosion and a plume of ash and smoke that air travel was disrupted in Europe, in a big way, matter of fact, for weeks, uh, there was a lot of problems with air travel. And uh, according to NASA documents, uh, they show that the seismic activity has increased for seven years before the event in 2014. Uh, because, exp- But it dipped a little in 2011 because another volcano nearby actually erupted, and that kind of calmed down Bartabunga, but once again became more active in August of 2014, and later that month, the volcano finally erupted, spewing lava for days and smoke and ash and brimstone. And so, what concerns most experts, though, is that the next eruption could be a repeat of the chaos of 2010 following the eruption, then, according to the Telegraph. 100,000 flights were canceled from that incident, leaving 10 million people stranded. Airlines lost $1.7 billion in revenue. And according to Live Science, reports that the eruption, which stopped flights for almost a month, was so drastic because of the ash spread further that normal, uh, you know, the ash was everywhere, that uh, the atmosphere... For a long time, ash, an ash atmosphere was greater length of time than they'd ever seen. Matter of fact, scientists later discovered that the prolonged drama was in part due to the adverse reaction 
uh, between the magma and the surrounding glacier water. The ash was more porous and not as aerodynamic, which made them stay afloat longer. And there's no evidence that if the eruption of Bartabunga would cause the same kind of havoc. But uh, according to reports, it's simply not possible to determine what the next eruption will be like, but they think uh, it, but thinks it will be harmless according to statistics, but you can't guarantee it. And when you say harmless, what do you mean? I mean, they don't know, uh, but you don't want to be anywhere near it. The real problem is going to be the air traffic and the, uh, the large amounts of ash in the atmosphere, all right? So anyway, uh, let's just keep you up to speed. Once you know what's going on, you're, if you're living up there in Iceland, and if you're anywhere in the European air travel, just be aware that Bartabunga is starting to feel the vibrations. And um, as the five waves of energy continue to put pressure this is exactly what uh, we were told would happen. There would be an increase in volcanic activity. Volcanism would increase, and so would earthquakes. But Jesus said in the last days we would see earthquakes in diverse places, all kinds of apocalyptic events. All, whatever's going on in the, spirit, in the spirit world, in the spiritual atmosphere, manifests in the physical. So it's time to realize you're in the last days. I'll be back. Don't miss tonight's Prime Time Live. I'll be live at 10 p.m. Eastern at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. I'll be live everywhere, including that brand new radio line. That's right. We're not on Blog Talk Radio no more. We walked away from them uh, because of the interference and, and just all kinds of uh, distractions, and we're tired of it. So uh, we have a brand new radio line this is the number. You dial this number. It's 605. You know what? I can't remember the number. What? Yes, I can't remember the number. But I'll put it in the link below. Are you serious? This volcano is about ready to blow. <laughs>